Cherokee wheels. This is how they're done. Um, you see that I've got these started already. This is going to be another one of those cool, quick, and easy totes to do. Looks like it's a tic-tac-toe board, doesn't it? Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to take our weaver, and you really need to wipe it on this, especially since you are doing the wheels on a natural background. They do tend to leave just a little bit. Now, the reason that I stopped here is to show you how you start another one. Um, it doesn't hurt to give it a little bit of moisture since it's, this has been sitting there. I don't want that to crack on me. This is where that tail ends. If you notice, Cherokee wheels drop down, wheel up, go up, so there's always a change. This goes down, this goes up, and, and on to eternity. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Use my weave right. Actually, it's not a weave right, but it's similar to a weave right. Put that underneath there. And lift that up. If you've got two weave rights, this works really good. So you don't have to keep lifting it all the time to put one there and one there. So I'm going to take this away for a second. I don't want to hold this and get it going. So I want that tail underneath there, and you do pull it really tight. And underneath there, and I usually, this is a number two, but I do use number three ground reed on this. And so now that's tight and I can trim those up, but I usually just weave on top of them. Um, this is number two, so I'm going to do six uh, rotations, rows, whatever you want to call it, of this on there. And you do want to keep it tight. And since this one went down, the next one will go up. So it's one of those cool little things that really adds to your basket. And um, you think, oh, this is really difficult, but like most things in basketry, it's not hard. You just got to know how to do it. So uh, if you're thinking about setting up a basket to do the Cherokee weave, you need something wide, something narrow, and something wide. And that kind of gives you your uh, ability, I guess, to do the Cherokee wheel. It doesn't have to be this broad if you don't want it to be. And of course we've got the cool embellished tape here too that kind of makes it a little different. Uh, but you do need some something that's rather wide with something small and something wide. So it needs to be three rows to prep for that Cherokee wheel. And the reason that I use it, not only because it's cool, but it's broad enough and has enough stability so that this uh, strap for this particular basket can't go underneath there relatively easy. Oops. Okay, so I've got four. I'm going to do two more and then I'm just going to go over to the other side. So some people do these when the basket's finished. I usually do that and you can do it after they're woven. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. But it um, takes a little bit of time, but it sure does make the basket pop. And if you want to draw attention to your basket, you want to do something that's a little bit different. Okay, so this is my last row. And then what I'm going to do is continue on to the next one. here. So that one came down, this one will go up and start the next one. And those are Cherokee wheels. There you go, start the next one.